everyone it's sandy and i have a um a sunday challenge that me and lisa do uh, most sundays and then i have a share to go along with it and unfortunately i don't have a uh any process videos to go with these layouts that i'm going to share with you but last week um me and lisa did challenged or it was two weeks ago sorry we challenged each other to pick a collection pack that we already had and to try and kill it so basically to try and use up as much as we could and that way we can just be done with it so the collection pack that i chose was the this and that collection it's the one by Lori whitlock and it was like i believe she had like two editions like one that was more geared towards boys and maybe one that was geared towards girls and this is the one that i had and i actually picked two or three collections and then i had lisa pick for me and she said oh use that one and i struggled so much with this so i only made three layouts and i do have pieces left um i honestly don't feel like using any more i'm not going to toss them but i don't know what i want to do with them so i'll show you what i have left i have this sticker sheet and it's got these alphas i did use some alphas obviously wherever you see it's empty that's just something that i did use i'll probably just set them aside but i'm kind of over this collection already i did use quite a few things off of this sheet and for paper i have this page left which I guess I cut this out of probably like a 12 by 12 I think I intended it for matting but I didn't use it for that I have this sheet which I cut some circles out of and this is by Echo Park if I didn't say and that's the reverse side I have these two other sheets right here which also I cut out or I have three more sheets sorry that I cut out circles with my circle punch so there's a lot I could still do with this. I think I'm just going to put it up. Oh, and I didn't even use this one at all. I'm going to put it up for a little bit and then um, maybe pull it out later and finish it up. So the first layout I did, uh, I use, let's see, I'm trying to think, I'm sorry. So I used gesso on the back of this sheet and then I got my Dina Wakely paints and I painted uh, this background here with the dark blue and the aqua and then a lighter blue. And this is a picture of me and Richard when we were first dating. Wow, we were we were young right there. So, um, yeah, we were first dating. That's probably from about, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago. Anyways, and so uh, these little stickers right here is what I got off of the embellishment stickers. That I added. It's from, I believe it's from Dear Lizzie's. I'll be yours and you'll be mine. So I do like the way this layout came out. I did struggle with it and I also used a stencil back here with some stuff and um okay the next layout I have is this one with Gabby and you can't even tell that this paper behind it is from the collection but it is I remember I didn't like the um the pattern on it at all so I just like covered the whole thing with gesso and then I used my gelatos oh look at one fell off my gelatos to make this um, colorful background around here and what it was is well okay and then I cut it out and then I put it on this white paper and if you can tell on the back I did a few bits of sewing right here they made these little X's with the sewing with the stitching and I used some wood veneer pieces. I used a whole bunch of these stars that I got from Studio Calico. I used a lot of them up. This is from Freckle Fawn. It says this is happening in this fun wood veneer. And these are just pictures of Gabby when we went to um, my in-laws church for the 4th of July. It was like on a Wednesday. They had like a whole bunch of water stuff going on and they were going to have fireworks that night. And Gabby went down this... Um, what do you call it? Those water slides. And she uh, went into that big pool of water and we didn't know it, but she did okay. It scared her at first, but then she thought it was pretty fun. So I do like the way this came out. It's a little bit plain right here. I was thinking that I wanted to get some scratch-ons and like scratch them on on random places, but I didn't do it. And I just noticed when I pulled it out. So I mean, and then see this little happy face. I had it right there. I need to tack that back on with some glue. And then my last layout, yeah, I made is this one. And I do like the way this one came out as well. I used two sheets from the collection. See, here's where I pulled the 12 by 12 off, where I cut it. I'm, I'm sorry, where I cut a square in the back of it. So anyways, these are the circles that I punched out. And then I used a lot of these things that I had laying around. They're like patches that we got from Freckled Fawn Kits. And I used brads, enamel dots, just things that I had laying around uh, beside me and this my beautiful girls came from the um, 
sticker sheets from the 12 by 12 sticker sheets and it's just me and the girls when we went to Destin this past uh, June with my brother and we were in the hot tub and we were just sitting there and somebody snapped a picture of us so I really do like the way the circles are so fun to use I mean I just love using them and I'm glad I got these patches used up as well so there we go so those are the three projects that I made with the collection kit. Like I said, I struggled a lot with it, so I kind of just set it aside after that. And now I'm going to show you three layouts that I did um, throughout this week, but I didn't do any process videos. It was kind of fun this week just to work on stuff and not worry about filming it or anything, but I'm going to start filming again um, probably here today that I'll post later this week. So. I pulled out the Highline collection and all I had from that was the 6x6 pad and the ephemera pack and I believe one of those um, 6x12 chipboard um, stickers that they had. So I had these two papers laying on my desk and all I did was I put yellow paint, pink and um, here they are. This basics, I used this aqua green. I use this um, yellow and then I use this other one from Liquitex and it's just magenta so these are the three colors that you're gonna see in the next three layouts anyway so I just painted I just used my fingers smeared it all over and then I knew I wanted to use this picture of me and Lisa when she was visiting and that's on the walking bridge and then I just used my ephemera around it so that's it nothing too complicated it's got a lot of color on it and I just really really like it so and these are just from the ephemera pack here so all of this is and the chip the chipboard so yeah and I just I journaled right here about her coming to visit us and how in Canada we took a picture together of just our eyes and the top of our heads when we were in um, Hinton not Hinton what is it called oh I don't know right off the top of my head but wherever we were visiting we took a picture like that so we were sure to take one here so that's gonna be like one of our traditions that we do when we visit each other and here's another layout I made and again I went with the circles all I did I just put the paint on here and I just started drawing circles. I did all the yellow ones and I did all the teal ones and then I did the pink ones. And this is just any ephemera you see on here is from the Highline collection. And this was one of the sheets that I used on the circle layout because I already had a hole punch there, 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 and there. But I, all I did was back it with some, not back it, I just put some pictures of the girls behind them. We got a um, above the ground pool this year and they've had a lot of fun playing in it. And these are just a few pictures that I've snapped while they were out there. I sprinkled it with some India ink and that's it. And I called it done and I really like it. It's simple, it's clean, but it's so, so colorful. So... The last layout uh, I made, I tried to use up a whole bunch of the embellishments and the stickers and things. So what I did is I got my Heidi Swap stencil, which is this one right here, this stencil. So I laid it down right there and I just did everything with my, it's like I was finger painting. Set it down and I just put the yellow, I put the blue and I would just go and add some color on top of it and that's it and I pulled it off. And I just had it done right here at the very top. Then what I did, I just I put some yarn because I have it, not yarn, but twine, the pink and black right here because I have it sitting over here. I'm trying to use it up. And all of these are just stickers, chipboard, um, transparencies, just anything like that. And all I did was I just started layering it. I just made a whole like collage of it to try and make it look like background paper. And I love the way it came out. And that's a picture of my dad and Gabby was hugging him so sweetly. He was, they were visiting us over 4th of July weekend. And so I think my mom snapped that picture. She did really good. So this is so sweet the way she looks giving my dad a hug. And um, yeah, and that's it. And it was like, again, another easy layout, but I absolutely love it. So I have a few more, um, what do you call this ephemera pieces to use and stickers to use so I probably can do another one um another one or two layouts and then I'll just call it done because I will be pretty much done except for a few six by six pages I have left so that's it that's what I wanted to share with you guys I hope you are having a great Sunday uh check out Lisa's channel she will be posting her uh, collection pack that she used as well and the layouts that she uh, made creating it or created with that collection pack and I will talk to you guys later so uh, yeah if you have any questions just leave me a comment below bye